Thank you. I'd like to call uh, Ann Mitchell, who is the CEO of Montgomery and Prince George's County Hospice, to come up while I read the proclamation. This is the proclamation for um, National Hospice and Palliative Care Awareness Month. And I was thinking about it. The first hospice, as I understand it, was created in 1974, not necessarily Montgomery <laughs> Hospice, but the first one. And the first Medicare benefit was 1982. And that makes it middle age. That's 40 years, which is really only a blink of an eye to have for folks to be entitled to that benefit is what I was really thinking about it. And for those whose um, loved ones have benefited from that Medicare benefit uh, or their families, it is something that cannot be measured in dollars and cents. It is something you remember for a lifetime. And so with that, I will read the proclamation, Anne. Whereas for more than 40 years, hospice has helped provide comfort and dignity to millions of people, allowing them to spend their final months at home surrounded by the people important to them. Whereas the hospice model is built on an interdisciplinary team oriented approach to treatment and support, including expert medical care, quality symptom control, and comprehensive pain management as a foundation of care. Whereas beyond providing clinical treatment, hospice attends to the patient's emotional, spiritual, and social needs and provides family services like caregiver training, respite care, and bereavement support. Whereas community-based palliative care, which delivers expertise to improve quality of life through pain and symptom, symptom control and other support, can be provided at any time during a serious illness, and given that hospice organizations are some of the best providers of community-based palliative care. Whereas over the course of the last two decades, we have seen increased access to hospice care for people of color, yet we recognize that continued efforts to improve care to diverse communities is essential. Whereas hospice and palliative care organizations are advocates and educators about advanced care planning that help individuals make decisions about the care they want. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Mayor and Council of Rockville, Maryland, do hereby proclaim November 2022 as National Hospice and Palliative Care Month and encourage all residents to increase their knowledge about person-centered, holistic care for all individuals facing serious and life-limiting illness, discuss their health care wishes with those they care about, and mark this month with appropriate learning and sharing. And it's my honor to move this proclamation. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor, please raise your hand. It is unanimous. And I'd look, thank you. And I'd like to ask Anne if she has a few comments she'd like to offer. And I'd like to present this proclamation to you, Anne. Go ahead. One of the things I'd like people to know is that as an employer, I'm coming after ready, um, we have 270 employees. We take care of over 2,000 patients a year. We have over hundreds of patients in our palliative care program. A hundred of our employees are registered nurses. We have eight doctors, we're much larger than people think. We are all over the county, and we are proud that we have been located in Rockville since the early 1990s. So it's been years that we have been a tenant here in Rockville, Maryland. Our inpatient uh, Casey House is has an address of Rockville, but we're outside of the city limits. Um, but I just want, we have the 14-bed inpatient hospice over on Moncaster Mill Road. So thank you so much, Council Member Feinberg, for recognizing something that often isn't talked about, but truly is a benefit because we are all mortal. And it is so important to have help when, when 
families need it. Thank you.